All right, guys, in this video, we're going to be vapor blasting some LS parts, okay? We're going to take it from this look to this look in about 20 minutes in a DIY vapor blaster that I built myself. Okay, so here's the machine I'm talking about, and those of you that are new to this channel because of this project, let me quickly explain what this thing does. It's like dry blasting, except it uses water to carry the media. So you're blasting water and media at the part. The water cushions and it allows you to run finer abrasives and basically what you're left with is a super smooth polished look. Okay, so it quickly removes corrosion. You can set it up to run any kind of media you want, but right now I got a really fine glass bead which results in this finish. Okay, so this is actually the second vapor blaster I built. I built a Harbor Freight version which I'll show you a picture of. And then this one is made out of wood. I built this cabinet out of three sheets of plywood, waterproofed it, and it works freaking awesome. And this one's much larger than the Harbor Freight. If you're interested in building one of these, I have plans for both the Harbor Freight and this guy here, as well as like 20 videos on vapor blasting itself. So I'll throw up some links in the upper right. Check that out. It does awesome work, which we're going to show in a second here to parts. It's just going to make it, this junkyard motor look freaking awesome. All right, guys, so here's everything that I vapor blasted, the timing cover, the valve covers, the valley cover, and these knock sensors, and they came out real nice, okay? Um, the finish is very smooth. It's got a little bit of a nice sheen to it. Um, the valve, Each valve cover probably took 20 minutes. The timing cover, maybe 15 minutes. These knock sensors, uh, this was the really bad one. You can see the pitting, um, and also it looks like the, the plating, anytime something rusts, Obviously, the plating is compromised, so I used a little higher pressure on this one, and the plating is probably gone, and this guy will rust, but at least it's clean, right? All right, so everything's looking really good. Um, in the next video, we'll probably take more stuff apart, but that's where I'm at right now. So let me know what you think in the comments below, guys. Mm -hmm.